Grace Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Are you ready to make Mickey Mouse vids? Am I ready to make Mickey Mouse vids? I don't know what you're talking about. Mickey Mouse at the public domain next year. Really? Yeah. Okay. But it's only Steamboat Willie Mickey. It ain't current Mickey. Okay. Fantasia and on Mickey. It's the one where he looks all stupid. Okay, so the original Mickey Mouse design is going public domain. This happened with uh, Winnie the Pooh not too long ago. Yeah, I hope they make a killer Mickey Mouse video too. But it'd just be like Steamboat Mickey Death Murder something. Yeah, you know what else is becoming public domain next year? Tigger. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. All these things from our our uh, our old parents' childhoods. It's you know, and it makes sense because if Winnie the Pooh went public domain, it only seems it's like all of those characters are going to kind of like yeah, domino. yeah, because it's like they didn't the some of the later characters. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, we should make we should take Steamboat <laughs> Willie, uh, uh-huh. and we should mo- movie mox it. Okay, I'm, and I'm we'll game. be like, and we'll just play it. I'm game, and we'll be like, this is like today's special. But Mickey, what would you do with Mickey? What would I do with him? Yeah, um, like we can do whatever we want with him now. He's ours. I don't want to do. He's not ours. He he's, is ours. No, nah, he's for the streets now. He's the collective ours. See, that's the thing, man. Is that you think this girl is for you, but this girl belongs to the streets. It's everybody's. Everybody's getting a turn, my man. All right. Do I need some antibiotics after we use Mickey? <laughs> I mean, you might. Mickey's been around for a long time. Not only is it old and used up. But it's also everybody's had their hands. How in it. full is Mickey? He is full of shit. I'll tell you that much. Wow. Yeah, Disney, come at me. Uh, I don't, man, I don't know because like you think it's really just the character design. So unless you're an, a f- fucking animator, what are we gonna do with it? Besides just like watch their, you know, really bad old cartoons that are racist. <laughs> I don't know if Steamboat Willie was racist. I've never... I am sure there's some sort of racism in it. <laughs> or some misogynistic tone or something. When, when does it actually become public domain? January 1. January 1st. So, like, very soon. Oh, dude, we I mean, by the time this it. is out... We could have put it on this episode. Oh, we could have. Yeah. Didn't even think about that. Yeah. Man, Steamboat Williams. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, very cool, I guess, man. I don't know. I, I figure somebody will probably make something stupid that they'll try to, like, cash in on the uh, the idea like they did with Winnie the Pooh because that movie I heard was bad. Yeah, I've heard it was bad, too. I hope that when Captain Caveman goes public domain, we're still making YouTube videos. I, I'm, why? Because I want to use him. Hong Kong Fooey, maybe? Can you explain to the people who Captain Caveman was? Because I don't think that everybody that is listening they is have a, million, a million years Why old. don't they Google Hong Kong Fooey? Why don't you? That's just, that shit shouldn't have ever existed. It shouldn't have. You're right. It's a little, uh, <laughs> it's a little a, off the cuff. It's a little off. But uh, Captain Caveman. He what, changed in a filing cabinet, What, what did bro? Captain Caveman do? I don't remember. He was oh. like, Captain Caveman. Can you look him up? Is that copyright? <laughs> it's not copyright. <laughs> hey, you, know, you, want me, you want me to look up some Hanna-Barbera? Get the Hanna-Barbera copyright? clan on me? All right. What do you want to be copyrighted free? What do I want to be copyrighted yeah, free? Yeah, don't say Naruto. Margot Robbie? Actually, Naruto would be great. But I feel like because it's a Japanese company or it's a Japanese property that you're pretty good with uh, just going ahead and doing Naruto stuff. Can Margot Robbie be copyright free? I think she already is. Are you going to barbie it? Uh, No, dude, but I would like to like have Margot Robbie as like a part of the channel. If we could. Oh, would you? Yeah, I mean, could, I'll hit her up. If we can get that popping off. Yeah, I got her. I got her number. I'll yeah, see if she'll do the podcast. I mean, she's on. She's on the tweet, right? After after she finds out how much of a Margot Robbie super fan I am, maybe she. You are a pretty big Margot Robbie. I'm I like not- how you went from I don't even know who she is and hate her to I am her best biggest fan and I brought her home with me. Barbie was an amazing it changed my life. Um it's very funny Jones. I actually did. I was looking up Margot Robbie images and I was going to put one on a shirt just to be like how show how much of a, a Robbie fan I am. Oh, like a Harley Quinn one? No, like a Barbie one. Uh, but it's very it's very hard to find like one where it doesn't just look like she's just Margot Robbie in a dress and I don't want to be like a creep. 
Uh, you should put a Harley Quinn one on there then. Yeah. I feel like that's just like too cliche and that's like nerd culture where if I was just like I like Margot Robbie because of the roles that she's done. You know what's funny Jonas I can I can sit here and say is that I'm a Margot Robbie fan and I have never seen Wolf of Wall Street either. Yeah. And I know that's the that's the Margot Robbie scene you gotta see where she's got her crotch all out or she's like standing half nude in, in dark lighting. Look I don't need to see that. Is that what happened? I don't need to see that. Oh yeah maybe. Yeah, yeah. It's I in, liked her in Harley Quinn. Um, I did. That was when I first. But you know what? I wasn't. I wasn't until I saw the the Barbie role. This isn't a Margot Robbie podcast, but we it could sounds make, like it is. We could turn it into one. Like we're just gonna chase it from the Crazy Town podcast to Margot's. Oh my God, Margot's world. Margot's, and we just literally like, what did Margot do this week? Oh my God, yo, could we? I'm actually. Like, I'm not, you think I'm fucking kidding, too. This is the thing. You think I'm joking. Why do you I'm love not. her so much? Jo she is a wonderful actress. A tier. Delivered, delivers lines like no other. All right? What's your favorite line? It was from the Barbie movie, and it's the one where she was like, I'm crying and shit. That shit. It's hard. Oh, you know? dude. When she was... Putting her putting her tears down, bro. It did something to me. That was it mommy's did tears. It did it's like something. we're playing daddy's tears on the, the Wii. <laughs> <laughs> this is, those are mommy's tears, that's, bro. That's call her mommy. Such an odd reference. Just, just, we'll call it Mom, mommy Margot's playground, <laughs> and that'll be mommy and that'll Margot's playground. Yeah, that'll be the podcast. It's, I'm, I'm mm, something about that is not hitting right, but it, for sure. <laughs> You know, we'll flush really out what, the title. You know, I don't really care what we name it, Joan. I don't care what kind of freaking paint you put on it. All I know is that as long as it's Margot Robbie that we're talking about every single day for a week straight for 15 minutes. Oh, my God. I'm <laughs> you, you mean, oh, my God. We could put up pictures of Margot. Like, we'd be like on TMZ. Hey, searcher, bro, put up pictures of Margo. Discuss the outfit Are you for the put, day. Like, deep fakes on there too. No, why would I? What do you? What do you mean? Why do I need to do that? I don't, I wanna, don't know. So you can see her in roles she's never played. I don't want to. No, Jonas, I'm not. A, a you don't want. You don't want to destroy the integrity of her acting. I've never seen Wolf of Wall Street. All right, I didn't. I, I didn't don't mean like with her boobs out. I just meant like make her look like she's Candyman. I know. I don't want. I don't want. Put her face on Candyman's face. No, I'm good. I think Margot Robbie is perfect just the way she is, and uh, I can't wait for her to go public domain so that we can do exactly that. You want to use her? I would. Yeah, I would like to. Like you know, we could look up clips, movie clips of Margot Robbie, and discuss what's her best scene or what's her best monologue. Uh, right, her best soliloquy. When has this become your life's goal? It never was until you brought it up for an idea. Like you I, talked about doing a Steamboat Willie podcast, and I was like, <laughs> "Oh, sure, that sounds like a great idea." And then I talk about doing a Margot Robbie podcast. All of a sudden, I'm a crazy person. <laughs> I'm I'm the insane one here. Hey, <laughs> you want to do something about a racist mouse, and I want to do something. Shut about your mouth about Steamboat <laughs> Willie. I want to do one about America's freaking sweetheart. I have a hot take. What? I don't really like Disney. No. Okay. I really thought you were going to say something about Margo. I don't really <laughs> like Margo. No, no. I don't really like Disney. That's, that's okay. And the people that like it a lot, I don't understand. Are we talking about Disney adults here? Because I, mean, I just, feel like we're talking about I don't see why Disney kids adults. like it. You don't see why kids like Disney? Yeah, it's, it's cartoons, dude. You put bright colors and flashing lights in front of a child, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm in love now. You tell them that mom likes it. Mom likes this, and they're like, oh, I love it, too. And then when they're adult, they're like, this is trash. Why was mom a terrible person? <laughs> they're like, why does mom make us go to the Disney resort every every month? Why does mom spend all the money she could be saving up for us on college to go to Disney? <laughs> Those Disney uh, tickets, man, like the, what do they call them, like the preferred shoppers cards are expensive, man. I don't know if that's a thing. Well, what do you call them? Preferred yeah. shoppers? Yeah, you had one to Oh, like a Flags. season pass? A season pass. That's what I was I thinking. I didn't have one for Disney. I had one for Six Flags, but it yeah. was only like $100. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The Disney ones are crazy. Thousands. Of crazy prices. But, like, people always justify it by, like, Disney has, like, great amenities or whatever. I don't know, dude. They're like, they let us go there and spend extra money for everything we want to buy. Yeah, it's $10 for a turkey leg. 
That sounds cheap. Yeah, Margo would never. <laughs> How much would Margo charge for a turkey leg? Free? She'd give them out, dude. Margo is basically like white Tom woman Hanks. Jesus. Well, she's Tom Hanks? Better. <laughs> Holy crap. She's, she's white woman Jesus. White I'm you. woman Jesus. Yeah. I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> it is, man. I'm but surprised. she's Australian. Good. Was Jesus Australian? Is she Australian? I knew that. I was just testing you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not asking a question. I knew the answer. <laughs> I'm not asking a question. You're asking a question. <laughs> oh shit! All right. Anyways, anyway. that's all the time we have for today's for Margot's world for uh, for uh, yeah. Jonas TNT. Uh, we out.